My name is Charles Tran, and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Novice Builder. In part three, I walked you through the step-by-step -step process of installing the indoor unit. If you missed it, no worries. I've included the link below so you can catch up. Now here in part four, we're diving into a critical step for maintaining your ductless AC system using a 110 volt, one quarter horsepower, single stage rotary vane air vacuum pump and an R134 AAC manifold gauge kit. These tools aren't just nice to have, they're essential for keeping your HVAC system running efficiently. I'll also show you how skipping this process could seriously damage your AC. Let's get started. First, let's talk about why these tools are so important. The vacuum pump is designed to pull out air and moisture trapped in your AC system. If left inside, these contaminants can cause corrosion and reduce cooling efficiency. The manifold gauge set, on the other hand, is like the system's health monitor showing pressure levels and helping you recharge it properly. Without these, your AC could be undercharged or overcharged, leading to costly damage. Before I proceed with the step-by-step -step process of using the air vacuum pump and manifold gauge kit, I want to show you how to connect the line set to the outdoor condenser, as mentioned in part three of my HVAC project. First, remove the caps from both lines. Next, use a wrench to remove this part by turning it counterclockwise. This is where you will connect the suction line. Take note, ensure the valve is precisely aligned when connecting it to avoid damaging the threads. Hand tighten the connection first, then finish tightening it with a wrench. While doing so, hold the fitting steady with another wrench to prevent it from moving. Follow the same steps for the pressure line, ensuring proper alignment and secure tightening. All right, so now we put this in and this in. These two was wrapped around underneath here, and it goes over there. It's so hard to get them right when it goes in here. In an HVAC mini split system, the suction line and pressure line serve critical roles in the refrigerant cycle, enabling the system to cool or heat the space effectively. The suction line carries the low pressure cool refrigerant gas from the indoor unit or evaporator coil to the outdoor unit or compressor. After the refrigerant absorbs heat inside the space, it evaporates into a gas, which then travels through the suction line to the compressor for recompression. Key role, helps maintain the proper refrigerant pressure for the cooling or heating cycle, and it ensures that the refrigerant is in a gaseous state when entering the compressor. The pressure line or discharge line transports the high pressure hot refrigerant gas from the compressor in the outdoor unit to the indoor unit. This refrigerant has been compressed and heated in the compressor. Once it reaches the indoor unit, it passes through the condenser coil where it releases heat and cools down, turning into a liquid. Key role ensures that the refrigerant reaches the indoor unit at a high pressure so it can release heat and change states, enabling the cooling or heating process. If you like my videos and find them helpful, please support my channel by clicking on the like button and subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more engaging content like this. Next, let's use a vacuum pump to take out the moisture and all of the other gases that are inside this line set in the inside unit. Now the first thing you need is a vacuum pump. When you first get it, you need to add oil to this level right here. Next, you're going to need a manifold gauge set. And the last thing you need for this is an adapter. This allows you to connect this manifold gauge set to the condenser at the service port right here. If you don't have this adapter, you won't be able to use these tools with your mini split. This setup is pretty easy. We're only using the low pressure side, so first, connect the blue hose to the low pressure side. Second, connect the yellow hose to the center connector. Make sure they're nice and tight. Third, at the end of the blue hose, connect your adapter. Then, connect the yellow hose to the vacuum pump. Make sure it's nice and tight. We're gonna put our gauges right here. Now we're gonna remove these protective caps. Now we have a two-way valve and a three-way valve. 
This right here is the service port. These two down here are for opening up the refrigerant inside of this unit. Do not touch these until we are done vacuuming the lines. Next, we're going to attach this adapter to the service port. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Before we turn on this vacuum pump, we need to open up the valve on the low pressure side. We're going to loosen that up all the way. Now when I turn this vacuum pump on, it will evacuate the moisture and the gases in this line, and there should be some steam or vapor coming out right here. So let's turn this thing on. And now after about 10 seconds, the vapor stopped. Now we have a vacuum on the line set, so we're gonna look over at the gauges and see what's going on. And this is what you wanna see. Previously it was at zero, but now that it's under a vacuum, it's at negative 30, and we wanna hold this for about 30 minutes. It's been a solid 30 minutes, and now it's time for the moment of truth. We're going to close this valve on the low pressure side, and then we're going to turn off the vacuum pump, and we're going to see if the line set can hold this vacuum. If it can't, and this rises to zero, that means we have a leak in the system. But if it stays at negative 30, then we're good to go. That means that the vacuum is holding, and there's no air going into the line set. Now for the next step, we want to put a positive pressure on the line set so we can safely remove this connector right here. Because if I were to remove it right now, there's a possibility of air and moisture going in for just a quick second, and that would mess up our whole vacuum. And all you need for this step is an Allen wrench. But first, we have a two-way valve for high pressure on the bottom, and we're going to open it a quarter of a turn for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna close it nice and easy. Now we're gonna look at our gauge. Now we're at a positive pressure. It's above zero. So now we can safely remove this connection to the service port. And it is scary for beginners because gas will come out while you're doing this, but you just have to commit and keep unscrewing it and wear gloves if you have them. Just like that and then put the cap back on the service port. Now we can safely open up these valves and release the refrigerant into the line set. We're gonna start with the high pressure valve first and go nice and slow. Now you can open it all the way, but when it stops, do not go any further, right there. And then put the cap back on and then open the low pressure side until it stops. And there we go. The refrigerant is in the lines. We have a closed system. Lastly, cover it up. And that's it for part four. Using the 110 volt single stage rotary vane vacuum pump and the R134A AC manifold gauge kit is a game changer for maintaining your HVAC system. Remember, a well-maintained system not only keeps you cool, but also saves you money in the long run. If you need any of the tools or materials I used, they're all linked in the description below for your convenience. If you missed part one, plan and measure, part two, installing the outdoor condenser, or part three, installing the indoor unit, don't worry, the links are available in the description below. Check them out to catch up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on my upcoming projects and videos.